My name is Kalyan Shashan, along with the group. Uh, yes, Anishi Sanakshi and Kushan will be presenting on the topic catalog. Uh, I would appreciate if you guys would look at that. Yes, please. I'm, I'm having trouble speaking, so please stay quiet. Catalog. Catalog is the list of anything which is in alphabetical or any systematical order. And we, we have uh, brought the catalog of adventure. Adventure is the any physical activities or the things you have fun doing. Uh, Here is the list. Hiking, rafting, boating, safari, zip lines, hot air balloon, paragliding, and keeping. Uh, there is an order, and we'll we'll leave it to you guys to find the order. Okay. Uh, anyways, moving on. Adventure. You, you guys do adventure for having for the sake of having fun, for the sake of time pass or or exercise. We can take it as exercise as well. Uh, yes. When it comes to adventure, one should definitely try bungee jumping. It's uh, definitely uh, not. Uh, one should definitely uh, like enjoy it because it doesn't need any kind of special training or preparation. So, also uh, in Nepal, there are three spots for bungee jumping. One is Budigushi, one is Pokhara, and one is one is at uh, Kushma. And according to some people, uh, Nepal has the third highest bungee jumping uh, from around the world. Uh, and according to people, uh, they go to bungee jumping for overcoming their fears uh, of heights and for some for adventures as well as experience. Mountaineering is the most uh, exciting adventure and it's also the most rewarding adventure in Nepal. It, it tests your determination, willpower and physical capabilities. And, and, the, and, and in mountaineering in Nepal, we'll take you across the tallest mountain range on the planet, the Himalayas. It is home to some 8 of the 14 mountains over 8,000 meters tall, and including the, the mighty Mount Everest with at a height of 8,848 meters. Yes. But, but mountaineering in Nepal is not for everyone. It's definitely more for a seasoned veteran who are experienced in mountaineering. Since the roads are quite uh, turbulent and, and the climate changes, and it's quite turbulent. Oh, and you require the guide to even tra traverse the mountains. Okay, moving on. I'm back again. Uh, so I'll be sharing my experience on safari. You guys did the script on safari? Yes. Okay. Uh, you guys did the script on safari and you guys went instantly on with the oh peacock like that didn't really happen to me uh you guys went through the jeep and i went uh, with riding the elephant and i didn't really see much what i saw was a crocodile um a rhino and like some wild chickens which i didn't really understand because it, it was so small so like yes that's that uh, one really good experience was riding the elephant I, I, I was so scared like while riding the elephant because it was so, you know, scary, big and I was like this small at the time. <laughs> so that is my experience. Uh, as you guys said, ad adventure, safari is one of the great adventures and I went for entertainment. Uh, like, you guys play the role of being a tourist and the guide who took you through the uh, Chitwa National Park. I actually went there as well and it, it was a great experience so I think you guys should have fun as well. Uh, next up is boating. It is another one of the most popular adventures in Nepal. This is mostly popular in Pokhara because of Fiva. This is definitely a calm, a more chill type of adventure unless it's raining and it's thunderous, obviously. But these are some of the adventures of Nepal. And if you want to go for adventures in Nepal, it's definitely one of the best places to enjoy adventures, like bungee jumping, yeah. unless you want to die without the rope. And mountaineering, since Nepal has one of the most highest peaks in the world, like eight of the most highest mountains. And also safari and all the other additional adventures we have mentioned. Thank you.